and that semi final uh, i'm sure you must have been inundated with queries over the years about that semi final uh, do you still sometimes uh, close your eyes when you see highlights of that semi final especially the last over and uh, does it still bring back some memories uh, how long did it take for you to get over that yeah disappointment obviously i mean not ideal to to you know go out in that fashion but uh, i look at it a bit differently i'm a bit of a, a realist and and i think you know i always say it, uh, it's easy to blame somebody you know but uh, you know we just never scored enough runs throughout that tournament um you know we kept putting ourselves under pressure and asking a lot of myself and pouch and uh, and shawn as well um to to score runs down the bottom you know we just that never got off to the starts and never put up totals that uh you know top 6 or, or top 6 or so batters um, would allow us to play with freedom we always came in under pressure so i think we just it was just one hurdle too far you know unfortunately that's just how it is and it was warning bells all throughout you know we always scrambled to totals and managed to win by a run or two but uh eventually it catches it catches up to you but uh yeah no worries obviously it, it you know it's not the greatest way to 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 go out um and and a little bit tough to to watch i guess uh for a for for a, for a period but um I'm way past that now but uh you know i don't think i think the blame if you know, people always say oh was it allen's fault your fault what happens why well, you know you could have waited there were still two balls left or whatever it was but uh, uh just it, it i think we just put ourselves under pressure uh, from a batting point of view for just too long and eventually it just caught up with us and uh, the story goes that you even received a call from madiba president nelson mandela at the time right after the semi final is that true did you ever receive a call from president nelson mandela after the match yeah not just then you know in numerous times um we shared a good relationship i could speak zulu as you know and he was closer speaking which is very similar bar a few words so you know we could always have a good chat and um you know just share some uh, i guess uh, some uh, some some language um you know between the two of us so yeah he did and not just then you know numerous times did we get that opportunity um and it was always a privilege you know always a privilege to to get that call you know, sometimes you always think oh well, i'm sure somebody's playing a joke or whatever it is but once you slipped into um into zulu or he started speaking closer than i knew oh, it was the real deal you know they say that you did feel that somebody played a prank on you after that semi final when you got a call from uh, president mandela yeah um we've got a, a comedian back in south africa who who does a brilliant madiba um and he's always pranking people with, with calls so yeah it was always doesn't matter who whenever that call came you know it was always just a, a matter of you know making sure that i speak uh, zulu to him because then i know that it was the genuine article yeah.